Ladies and gentlemen, it's Alan Mike, back with another video. I told you we're gonna show you what I've been eating. Someone told me this means eat in certain cultures. Someone told me. Uh, here with the buddies, you'll see them in a second. Uh, one of my favorite grocery stores. We're gonna try to show you guys like a quick snack, easy protein meal I eat, something that I might typically cook, and then we'll also show you uh, possibly eating out and what I might order. Um, trying to be healthy, uh, get some veggies and some micros. We'll still get my protein and my goals. Uh, here at the grocery store, we got the boys. They're gonna be piling things in the cart, so don't pay attention to them, but I'll show you the basics. I'm not a meal prep guy. I'm not like a pay big attention to labels guy. Right now I'm going by fuel. I'm not tracking everything, but I have tracked my food for a very long time, um, so I'm pretty aware of what I'm throwing in my body. Uh, just got a quick session on Untamed. Hopefully you'll see some of that footage. I still got a stream tonight, Twitch. Give this thing a thumbs up. Let's hop in, let's get some food. I'm probably gonna get hot food too, because I'm starving. Hey, come here, man. Let me show you a secret. This guy, secretly, I don't know what if we're he's gonna done, go, Mike. he's probably not done a lot of videos like this. I know we did one together in LA. It was great. This guy is the wizard of hippie food. Yeah. So if you want to get your gut right and your colon Chocolate. cleansed and Chocolate. all that, yeah, this guy's got you. So, uh, no joke. Oh, it does, look at the potassium on that shit. Five, ten. Okay. We're we talking electrolytes. So Gatorade is basically just this, and they're essentially the same price. But the ratio between the two and actually the carbohydrate amount, if you look at something, a rehydration, if you Google it, there's actually some research on it. And Gatorade is just fancy sugar water, basically. So you might as well have something that tastes good. And this ratio itself between the amount of milliliters to the carbohydrates, better. Vitamin C content. That's true. Okay. I'm like, look at this. Look at this. I would get protein bars, but I tend to eat like two in a day when they're in my house, so I don't get them. Again, we're not fixing habits here. We're working around them. It's gonna be a steak. Let's see if there's anything that uh. Yeah, there's some new stuff. Thing. This looks good. I'll try it. I mean, it's not. The other issue is they're not really protein bars. Yeah, in terms of the actual <laughs> amount of protein. Yeah, when we're talking about like ratios, this looks delicious. It's actually, look good right here. Let's just take a look at these uh, macros. So it's not all about macros. So obviously about trying to fit everything. Calories per serving. This is 200 calories. Low calorie boys. So see, we're in a household with individuals that like to eat a lot of food. Uh, it's difficult for them, honestly, to adhere to their nutritional paradigm. So having food in the house, having things that they wouldn't over snack on. So high palatability foods that I actually recommend against for these individuals right here these uh, boys but focusing on choices foods that they can eat any day of the week that they like when they cut when they're in a maintenance when they're in a surplus so just whatever that might be uh, uh, things you can eat every single day but not super palatable foods so I think ice cream right ice cream is like can you control yourself to not eat uh, the whole pint if you can then should you have it in the house questionable like what are some of the things you're getting the basics baby yeah I really don't snack on much because I'm such a snacker. I try not to keep yumminess in my house. Yeah. We got issues, kids. Well, we're self-aware issues. Uh, disorders. Mike is self-aware. I'm highly self-aware. Orthorexia? No. Eating disorders? No. Self-aware? High. Mayhaps. I think I have the self-awareness of a 60 year old. Uh, Mike, you don't care about quests, right? Before I say something. Okay. I don't care about anything. You so, give whatever honest stuff so you want. Check this out. I'm not. I'm not talking shit about this particular brand. That's 20 grams of protein. That's fine. Um, That's fine. But you can't look, see the name of the brand. So the dietary fiber. If you look, so they always have the carbohydrates. They sub it out by putting artificial sweeteners. That's fine. That's not you know the crazy thing. But the amount of fiber, 15 grams. If you eat a few of these a day and you can't properly digest this fiber. You're backed up. Not to mention, also, it's super hard. Uh, I'm just fiber not a fan in general, man. though, that is yeah. fiber, whatever. It's a little sketchy fiber, but fiber yeah. in general, little known fact, if you're not getting the hydration in, or if it's an abnormal amount for you, you might get yeah. clogged up. Everyone thinks more fiber, more fiber. Yeah. Well, fiber is wonderful. Yeah. But consistency is even more wonderful. What's the recommended amount? Oh, well, I don't know. Just about 10 grams per thousand calories. So if you well, need 3,000 calories, 10,000 calories yeah. a day. 100 grams of fiber. Give me 20 bars. Oh. Uh, yeah, so let's see what we got here. Let's make some good choices. Maple brown chicken. Just a little cereal. Are you far away? Is that, that what you're doing? Kind of yeah. Uh, I do a lot of Greek yogurt, non-fat to get my protein in, dairy protein. Um, and I just don't like yogurt at all, to be honest. So I literally get it just for the whey protein. Um, so I like to throw something in there. Normally I do cereal uh, texture and then a little bit of flavor to it because it's kind of like sour. Um, I don't really care what, but this looks all right. Lowish fat. Game on. 
this is really what I want to play with, but we got to keep moving, boys. We can't stay in the ice cream aisle. If you stay in the ice cream aisle too long, this cart's going to be full. <laughs> One, two, three, there's five of us? I'm thinking maybe five of the uh, the New Yorks? Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Yeah, five, five of the biggest ones you got in there. A couple pick-me-ups. Those coffee be uh, suppressed as appetizers. Allows me to stream kids. We went to the grocery store. And now we're back home from the right, grocery store. Follow Omar Isaf on Instagram. He's posting a lot more skin uh, hey, recently. Uh, ladies, a lot more skin, if you know what I'm saying. He, after the ladies. Gentlemen. Thank and he may or may not have started a fans only. I don't know. I can't say I can't say for certain. Um, we're going basic tonight, but Connor before behind the cameras thinks he's a chef all of a sudden because he watches two YouTube videos. Just like you guys watch a couple YouTube videos and all of a sudden you think you're a bodybuilder. So we got some of this stuff as well. But time, it's all we really have. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then uh, I don't even know what else you got. Rosemary. Um, so we're gonna do a little, a little fancy-ish with the steaks. I bought some like pretty nice New York steaks. Uh, pretty heavy. Uh, the biggest boys in there, a little expensive. Basic broccoli, we'll probably just steam it, do something. Uh, and then rice, cook it up, steam it as well. Easy, simple, efficient, I love steak. New York's a real good balance if you guys are trying to get um, a, a good tasting steak. That's not too fatty, I am a ribeye guy, um, but they tend to be a little bit fatty if you're trying to be a little bit conscious of that. So we're gonna dive in, we're gonna tenderize the meat right here on this little thing, right next, show them my bonsai, dude. The uh, meats, um, we're getting into room temp before you, before you get her in the pan, so that's step one. It kind of depends obviously on your goals and what you guys are doing nutritionally, but um, for me, because I, I don't like to get too caught up in, in tracking, just mentally doesn't work for me that well and I'm just not that strict, I'm not trying to step on stage. Uh, I try to get majority of my plate, my plate would actually probably look a little bit different to be honest. I would give my majority of my plate uh, greens and protein, um, let's say over over 60% those. And then a hair of carbs kind of depending. And because I do love some desserts, I might, not, I might even like skip some carbs here and go and get some ice cream. That would be the normal for me. But uh, again, the New York Strip's a, a, a really tasty protein steak that if you guys want to get into that's not too fatty, you hop into ribeye, you might get a little fatty depending on your personal taste for macronutrient breakdowns. Um, there's a lot of different steaks. Tri-tip's obviously delicious, but it's a little bit fatty as well. Uh, depends on your personal preference. Um, steak is one of my favorite foods for sure. Uh, but there's a lot of cheaper things too. You just get a little chuck roast and stuff like that that's more lean. Doesn't always taste the best, uh, but it gets the job done if you're trying to prep out. Obviously, I don't like meal prep. I really like food. If you cook steak for the next week and you're eating it on day five, it just doesn't tend to taste that great. And same with chicken, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if you do have time, I do suggest cooking a nice meal every night. I think the better tasting your food, you know, the better chance for adherence. One, you're gonna enjoy it more, enjoy the experience. I was really lucky growing up to have um, not only parents that were like married, um, but have a family. We'd have family dinner every single night. Um, so my mom worked <clears throat> out of high school, or, uh, so she got off when I got to. God damn it! We're getting fun. sentimental, team. Uh, mom worked out of high school, so I was really lucky that she, her hours were pretty much over when my hours were. Or she'd sometimes have meetings, but she'd be done at four or five, uh, and she'd cook dinner. And literally, I'd say ninety-five to ninety-nine percent of my uh, life up until I was 18, we'd have dinner together. So, um, and honestly, it looked a lot like this. This is kind of how mom's cooked. Uh, pretty healthy. Uh, I ate a bunch of junk food as a kid and I didn't have clue about nutrition. I'm slamming cheese its all day long and Coca-Cola. But besides that, generally speaking, uh, we had really good meals. So if you want to get more, you know, in depth and you want to track your food, all that, you just weigh this out. It's pretty simple. We can't really go wrong with majority of your plate being protein, majority of your plate being some kind of greens uh, and then slipping in some lower fat carbs. But that's what I got. What am I eating for breakfast? So glad you asked. Let me talk about the little hacks right here. So uh, we went to the shack, and uh, I'll show you just a few things. Oatmeal. How typical is that? Yogurt. Hey Connor, how many cans of uh, yogurt have I eaten so far on this trip? A disgusting amount. A disgusting amount. Because I actually do like uh, yogurt. We don't have Chobani, Chobani bro, in uh, Canada. So I tried this out. But look it out. Uh, uh, look. <laughs> but check this out. Uh, Mike is the first person to hit me to this. 16 grams of protein, so you can look at all the macronutrients, whatever. 90 calories per serving. This one right here, I actually probably have two servings left in here. And what I do, honestly, because there's no scale in here, this is 900 grams 
I break it up basically, I eat this over three days, so that's 300 grams, and then each serving is about 170 grams, so each portion is about two servings of this. So 180 calories, but we're getting right there 32 grams of protein, that's a lot. Um, in terms of carbohydrates, six grams, that's negligible. So that's good. Milk substitute, I actually like goat milk, but almond milk, once again, it's a low calorie option. You probably can't taste the difference between that and milk. It, I'm, I should say, taste different, but you're not like, I'm you know, drinking water here, 30 calories. That's low. Blueberries, high volume. You take a look at this once again per serving, so per cup right here, 80 calories. We're adding this up. Breakfast is probably around 800 to 850 calories. And then lastly, just for convenience, uh, the oatmeal, we're actually getting the instant microwavable variety as opposed to doing a steel cut oats. And then we have right here, so we do two packets. So if we're doing the math, we got 150, and that's uh, 31 grams. I'll have the macros up here, but that's 300 calories because we're doing two packets. We have one serving of this, that's 80 calories, so we're at 380. We have two uh, servings of this right here, so that's 180 plus 380, so that's talking 560. And then lastly, we have probably a cup of this, probably a little less than that, but we're talking almost 600 calories just to get the party started for breakfast. And then normally what I do, I have a piece of fruit. So again, for breakfast, I tend to have my carbohydrates around my exercise. So breakfast and then lunch will be more carb heavy, higher calorie, and then dinner will be lighter. But those are the things I find for myself. I could eat this every damn day. It's tasty. I don't feel afterwards like, oh man, I was having low fat yogurt, I'm starving, right? A lot of it is a mindset I find. This is maybe the last tip right now. We condition ourselves to feel a certain way. Where if you think you're depriving yourself, like, oh, like instead of regular milk, it's almond milk, it's only 30 calories. If I was to give you a glass of this, you might say, yeah, that doesn't taste like milk. But if I was to say it's a cup of milk, you wouldn't say, oh, that tastes like 90 calories left per cup. So sometimes we get in our head is what I'm saying. And I think choosing some of these options and making sure maybe the last tip right here, check this out, dead body in there. Uh, that you have choices inside your house where there's nothing crazy. If you have uh, trigger foods, one, you have to get over that. But in here, as an example, like I was joking, but is there regular pop? It's like, no, there's diet stuff in there. There's various condiments. There's a pasta. There's some more oatmeal. There's some cold brew coffee. Basically stocking your fridge or stocking your pantry with things that you're comfortable eating that you won't overeat, um, things that you can make on a regular basis and you don't feel like you're depriving yourself. So some examples of how I eat when I eat. Um, dive in and again, I'm not tracking my food. I have so many stresses in my life and I've talked about some of the anxiety and stuff I've dealt with in my entire life, but especially recently. Um, so the last thing I'm trying to manage is, is my mental health on top of it. So. What that means for me is trying to balance what I put priority on. And although I want to lose weight, I'm a little thicker than I want to be. Although I want to get strong, um, I'm a little weaker than I want to be. I want to build some of my muscle back that I lost. Um, in priority of feeling good and scheduling, I can't track my food right now and I can't just be Mr. Strict. I need to find a natural flow with my food because other things in my life um, are causing me too much stress if that makes sense the stress tank is just one little tank here and that's why RPE and things got so popular but for me um, lifting is just not top top priority and I know that might shock some of you since this is a fitness channel and powerlifting but I have other things I'm trying to do we're really trying to build a podcast again I have two businesses I'm launching right now perhaps a third uh, Twitch streams really important come hang out uh, so so nutrition's down here I'm eating well I'm focusing on protein and personally when I eat out or when I order in I'm just trying to lower fat not because fat's the devil not because fat makes you fat but it's just more calorie dense so um, shout out to my guys over at Vibe Bar if you guys are in Northern California they have a couple locations uh, it's kind of like a health juice bar but they have a bunch of like wraps burrito bowls etc uh, they have this chicken wrap it has some kind of like medium spicy sauce on it probably not many calories it's chicken lettuce and like jalapeno there's nothing going on in there uh, it comes with avocado one i don't like avocado two avocado although it's healthy fat uh it is just more calories so i always just get rid of it um, because i don't enjoy it that much i don't hate it uh, but that goes with a lot of the foods like ranch and all these other things that people really love i don't like which helps me uh, eliminate some of the fat in my diet so chicken wrap uh, i got a coffee i already drank it uh again with first steps I take when I'm beginning the diet or even just trying to lose a little weight, I take away calories from my drinks, uh, black coffee, diet sodas, water's all I drink, uh, energy drinks, no calorie. Uh, I focus my priority in every meal is protein. Again, this is lettuce and chicken in there. Uh, and then I slowly take away fat and I take away some of my snacking. So I try not to eat too many meals in between. But honestly, diet's going medium. I wouldn't say I've been doing super well on it. 
Um, not that I'm, you know, eating pints of ice cream every night, but I'm just not. Probably eating more calories than I need, but it is what it is. I'm doing my best. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this look into how I eat, into my nutrition, into my life, into my lifestyle. Uh, more videos, vlogs, potentially coming soon with some of these new projects we're coming. We're going to have some stories to tell you, uh, but the comeback continues. Gym's feeling really good. This week was probably the best gym week I've had in maybe a year. Um, Smash some deadlifts felt really good. Squats felt really, really good. Bench still felt heavy, but it moved really well. Um, composition's getting a little bit better. We're recomping, although... Again, I am a little bit heavier than I want to be, but I'm going to add in cardio eventually. I'm going to try to get a spin bike here at my house so I don't have to spend hours at the gym. But uh, we're on an upward swing, man. We're on an upward swing. It's just nutrition. I'm honest with you guys. I'm not going to say, like, I just ate tilapia and broccoli all week and something wrong with my metabolism. I can't lose weight. I mean, truth is, is, is I, I need to not put so much focus on my nutrition right now. I'm doing well. I could do better. But I'm not going to stress it on myself or lie to you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give this thing a thumbs up to come back series every single Monday. We might have some bonus videos. A brand new gaming channel on YouTube. If you guys are into nerd things, check that out. Sound of my gaming. We'll try to link it or follow me on Instagram. Sound of Mike with two Ks. We posted there. Brand new podcast Wednesday. Sound of Mike. I appreciate you guys. We're out.